Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna do my current favorites. I haven't done one in a while and I definitely have some new discoveries, some products that I've been obsessed with. So let's waste no time and let's go through them. There is a lot of skincare. I need some hand cream. Oh my God, I just sprayed hand cream all over me. One thing I cannot stand is when my hands are dry. Oh my good. Like when I walk out and I see my hands are like ashy gray, especially in this bit here of your hand. Oh my god, I'm like seething. Hands are now presentable. <laughs> Let's start with body wash. I literally just bought this. It's the Naturium uh, Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. I got this from Space and Kane. It was actually Hannah St. Louis that recommended this on TikTok. She mentioned back knee and I have really bad back knee, but I can slowly see my back smoothing overall better since I've been using this but to be honest my back has improved a lot thanks to this African net sponge so instead of using a loofah or like a glove that I usually use she also recommend using this so I ordered one straight away on Amazon I've never used anything like this but to be honest I get why this would be more sanitary like hygienic because it dries really quickly and there's not a lot of chances like because it's so open I feel like less bacteria can get clogged up in here and it really like it's so easy to like scrub your back like this best purchase ever yeah it's just really gentle i use it all over my body except for like you know down there you, i don't think you want to be putting glycolic acid down there but avoid sensitive areas but i do it my arms legs my back with this and then a more gentle soap like for the rest it's getting a bit too tmi now but yeah i definitely recommend these two so thank you so much to hannah for recommending these i've got more skincare people more skincare anything from the garnier vitamin c range like even the serum but the serum is somewhere else. I don't know where it is. I even have the night serum here that I use sometimes at night. When I use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, I like to scrub my eyes. But with this, it says to avoid your eye area. And I don't know if I want to be putting vitamin C like on my eyes. So I just do my skin with this. So I have to cleanse my eyes with something else. Yeah, it's very gentle. And I've been really enjoying it. This though, okay, guys, the new vitamin C daily UV SPF but the glow one my skin looks amazing like it gives the most beautiful healthy non-greasy glow this is what it looks like it's so good it's so good just believe me I also have like I actually went and bought it's so fun I saw these release and I bought the invisible one myself and then I actually worked with Garnier on this campaign so they gifted me the glow one which I prefer more to be honest but yeah just to let you guys know I did work on this campaign but it is so so good it's so brown skin friendly no ashiness it's so easy to blend and it does the job it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't feel weird so yeah i have been really loving these anything from the garnier vitamin c range to be honest just try it it's really affordable as well and then thank you can thank me later because it's bomb it's bomb.com i have been loving the shore maximum protection deodorant i feel like this is the only one that doesn't irritate my skin that actually makes sure i don't smell throughout the day because i have been using the nude uh natural ones when you know i know i'm not doing anything intensive i've bought so many of those but then i just feel like i sometimes i like my armpits to smell nice so i've been liking the short maximum protection even hubby uses it. it doesn't leave any white stuff on your armpits and it does the job i'm really thirsty right now like really thirsty oh my god i haven't used this in so long but i went back to the nivea original rich nourishing moisturizing body cream and it's so good i don't know why i stopped using it like I've got this only on my chest. Look how, how glistening and smooth and hydrated it looks. It's really good. It's like sometimes like just go to the OG. Like it's just so good. Q10 as well is really good. But this one's way more thick and hydrating if you want that glow. Then I've been loving the Tropic Skincare So Joyful Aromatherapy Mood Mist. I like to keep this like by my bed. Or sometimes I'll like spray it in the entrance because it smells. It, this is part of the joy, Joyful range. And it literally smells like joy. I, if joy had a smell, it would be this. Green mango extract with lemon and eucalyptus essential oils. It smells so fresh, it just makes you happy. So yeah, I've been really liking this. Let's put some here. Yeah, it's very lemony, but I love it. This is what it looks like, but to be honest, anything from Trop Tropic Skincare is bomb. Speaking about scents, I did buy a new perfume and I've been obsessed. I can't stop wearing it. It's the Byredo perfume um, called Sundays. This is such a unique scent. Even hubby loves it. It's like a mix of a lemon, orange, fresh scent, 
but with a tad of sweetness. I love it. I can't, that's the best explanation I can give for this. If you go into a space in K or something and try it out, like just give it a smell, but it's, this is like my scent. This I think this will be my go-to. It's so nice and it lasts all day and you really don't even need that much. It does cost a penny, but I have been obsessed. I, I literally don't even regret this. I did hold off for like about a year buying this. So I was contemplating it. It's, I think it's the most expensive perfume I've bought, but it is so worth it. And I really want Bibliotech and even Mogave Ghost or something like that. Those two are really nice. This is no secret. I have been obsessed with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, especially, specifically, the um, gummy bear one. I love the glossy balm as well, which comes in a little tube, which is in my bag and I use every day. Just love like the purpley, lilac-y tint. And obviously you can tell I bloody love this stuff, but it just literally smells like grape soda. Let's go on to makeup now. So Sai came out with these dew blushes. I was sent all the shades and normally I keep other shades for other people like to give away, but I just can't. Like I love these so much because you guys know I love me a glowy cheek. It's just in me. I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing this today. It's the one in the shade Cutie. It's just so easy to blend and it just makes you look youthful and glowy and it doesn't budge throughout the day, kind of like sets in place. I love it. I really need to try all the other shades because this is bomb. It comes like in a little, a little fat doe foot applicator. I used this in my recent video and I feel like not a lot of people would try this or go for this, but the Max Factor bronzer is so underrated. It's super affordable and this shade in a uh, warm tan is chef's kiss. If you're looking for a good drugstore bronzer, it's affordable. Go for this. It blends like butter on the skin. I did use it in my last video if you guys want to check it out. Another thing that I've been super obsessed with is actually in my bag and I cannot be bothered to go get it right now. I'm sorry guys, I'm like, I'm so lazy and the mic is attached to me and I can't be bothered. I might come back and even forget to put the mic back on me, but I do really love the MAC lip squirts. Like, I'm obsessed. I think it was called Amped. It was like this bright pink. Now I'm onto this like bright orangey one and I even have a blue one, but for every day, it is just so easy. It, sh it makes your lips look shiny. It's comfortable and it lasts long in the lips. It's like, it's like my, it's like my go-to lip balm almost with a bit of a tint and it has that kind of like minty scent to it and it doesn't burn, but it just feels like you've got mint on your lips. Anyways, I love them. I love them and especially the pink and the peach one i've been obsessed so now on to hair like i have been reaching out for this a lot it's the opv beauty hair wax stick i don't like to use this when i'm doing a slick back ponytail because i don't think it holds enough in my opinion but i love this because you see those little flyaways on my head i don't know if you can even see but like i like to just put it like this and it will like keep it down and it tame those little flyaways. Like sometimes my hair will be sticking straight up and it doesn't make my hair greasy or anything. Like it brushes out well. So yeah, it looks slick now. Then I've been obsessed with the Olaplex oil. Um, this is amazing when you've like styled your hair, just finish off with this and a bit of hairspray. And it just makes your hair look so shiny and like salon-like. Love this stuff. It's the number seven bonding oil. Okay, so then onto like books and series. To be honest, I haven't been watching any films as of lately. Did start a series recently because it just came out and it's called One Day. It's based on a book. I haven't read the book, but the series, first of all, anything with a brown girl in it, like I'm just all up there. Like I'm just all for it. Like I'm on it straight away and it's just so good. I'm hooked, like I can't stop watching it. It's like a romance drama kind of thing. And I'm just like, if you're into that, watch it. I'm only halfway through, so I, like, I can't really say what happens in it, but it's very addicting. I like the acting in it. It's set in like, almost, it starts in like 1988. And I also, I love the music because it's music from back then. And it kind of shows the evolution of this couple and like their relationship as friends and maybe as a couple, I don't even know if they will become a couple, but just like how they grow from coming out of uni and just life, how they go through life, how they keep in contact. And I have been really enjoying it. And then when it comes to books, you guys know I love books. By the way, I do have a book talk account if you do want book content from me. You can follow me on there. I'll leave it in my description box. But I have been completely immersed in the uh, Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. I am on Queen of Shadows, which I think is the fourth or fifth book. And when I finished that one, there's only dictionary-like books after that. Like there's three left and they're massive. But the story, the plot, Selena Sardothian, 
Aelin Galathinius. Oh my god, if you love fantasy, this is mostly fantasy with a little bit of romance, so just bear that in mind, but I really don't care because it's so good. The magic, I just feel like Selena just makes the whole thing. I can't rave about it enough, I'm like so obsessed with it. Everyone raves about this series and it, it's not it's not for nothing, it's so good. I also have started the Chestnut Spring series, which is by Elsie Silva. So I read Flawless and Heartless, and it's kind of like a cowboy, um, small town romance, very much country vibes. The romance is just top notch. The characters are, just get so attached to them. Yeah, those were like five star reads for me, Flawless and Heartless. I definitely preferred Heartless, which is kind of like follows, it follows the old one of the older brothers, is who's a single dad. He has to take on a babysitter, throw in a little five-year-old in the mix to make the cutest family. It's literally so addicting. And if you're into that, read it. Like, waste no time and go read that book. Do you also like me a bit of dark romance, which is not for everyone, but I always say, like, in the spectrum of dark romances, I kind of fall in the nicer side of it. It, it can go a little bit too far sometimes. I've been reading the Boys of Sinners Bay series and it's called Beautiful Carnage and Beautiful Savage. I was completely hooked guys like you can put the book down I think it was mostly the plot like so much happens in it and then the characters were like I mean yes they are part of a cartel or mafia gang but you just get attached to them <laughs> you get attached to them and yeah you just can't put the book down so those are the books I've been loving I mostly read on my Kindle so I don't have any physical copies. I do have the Throne of Glass series but again I cannot be bothered to get up right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you have been loving in the comments below. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and watch this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!